Hi guys, Dorota Falicka, International Neil Artist and Educator here. And we are on the next Monday, next episode, and salon quick and easy designs for you. Uh, today I thought I will show you something summery, and this is going to be a shells uh, with a bit of pigments and different kind of rainbow colors. Uh, so something what your clients are going to like, uh, really love as well. But also at the same time, look what I've got! Yes, that's a bike, and uh, I have done also some vlog on you how we have got it, and uh, it was a kind of very spontaneous trip. Like we didn't expect, like okay, I did expect with my luck, but <laughs> uh, we was really lucky uh, to be able to get them, and I have done that uh, as well. You can see it uh, in a link uh, here as well all the journey it is a different type of the videos because um, normally i do some steps by steps for you but the more time i spent with you guys on this channel uh, the more excited i become the the more like i want to do it just more and more and if this is something which you interested on something from my everyday life sometimes crazy or oh, sometimes too crazy like you know imagine me and my husband in a car with all the stupid ideas we are coming in and sometimes the girls in the sound just laughing that's the next trip from the holiday we will bring a dolphin or something because we've got a full zoo in the house but i can share all those things with you if you're really um, interested on it and if you like let me know in the uh, comments down below uh, is that something you would like to see uh, something a little bit of the crazy life and i'm kind of so different to what i look you know those beach face syndrome and then the opposite side where where i'm so like a childish sometimes but at the same time a bit strongish you know those 12 centimeters long and then lying some floors digging in, in the garden building a water ponds and and, and all sorts of um, different things like you know jumping on the trees and doing all this crazy um stuff so if you if you would like i could i could share a little bit of uh, those things with you as well but anyway let's start doing those uh, simple and easy designs for now and if you like those videos share it with your friends keeps me motivated uh, to posting more so in this 12th episode, we are going to do a simple um, salon shell looking designs. Uh, it is a little bit kind of of the 3D and lots of blink on it. You can have a we look through those designs in here. Uh, so like a different kind of ombre looks uh, with a little bit of uh, blink. And uh, first what you have to do is uh, buff your tip or like uh, finish filing the desired shape of the extensions. Or gel polish if you're working with the gel polish so then you just would uh, prep the natural nail and apply the color I'm going to work on the new gel polishes which I'm really full in love with and that's the upvoted uh, perfect vo uh, perfect polish and uh, they're really nice and highly pigmented and the color I'm using is a tic tac and that's 173 so I'm just applying a uh, Full coverage on the entire nail. And then I'm going to cure it in LED light for 30 seconds. So you can see even a one coat looks not too bad for a white color. And you can do it on the couple of the tips. So I have done on a few of the other ones in here. And I'm just going to buff them because i have applied the top coat so they don't go dusty but we don't need to necessarily buff it it's just to speed up a work so i can show you a little bit more now the first layer is cured so i can just apply a second layer i do really like the feel of those gel polishes as well like they got a really really nice consistency i might actually drop you a link in the description below to those gel polishes so that's the second layer on 30 seconds cure and then we are going to move on into the design so for design i've got the stone which doesn't reflect the light for the videos i think it works fantastic but you could also use a piece of the kitchen foil or a foils which we used to uh, remove the gel polish and then I'm going to use the color number 148, and that's the upvoted one as well. 
like a pastel -y, yellowish greenish just a tiny bit on the side 146 ice cream that's a really beautiful one i really like this one a lot and the orange one 151 What else? Maybe something purple, no, something darker, so something more defined. And that's uh, color number 164, bubblegum. So I've got a couple colors on the side. And now we can start doing the ombre. You can go and do it in any way you like it. Uh, so see, maybe in this one I will go just kind of side view. So I'm starting fading my lighter color. And it's pretty time consuming, the, the um, ombre with so many different colors. But basically what you do is you keep fading until you're happy with it. With the gel polishes, uh, usually you have to go two layers to get a really nice coverage. Um, the gels itself got uh, usually a better consistency for the ombre but in the salon i quite like use the gel polishes so just fading it in and basically how it works the more uh, moves of the brush you do the better fade you will get and then the darker one See, with the darker one, I maybe change the shape of it a little bit, so. Obviously, the, the slower I paint, the nicer results we are going to get. So, on the bottom, the darkest one. I'll give it a bit of more twist. Okay, so now I need to fade it a little bit more. Tiny bit of the UV cleanser on my wipe. And we're going to go into this color. So keep fading. Remember with the gel polishes, you cannot add too much of the product. Sometimes when we want to do the ombre and we want to get a nice coverage, we tend to go for much more product than we should apply. And then the product might wrinkle. You really don't want that. You want to kind of have a nice and thin layer uh, because it's better to add another one than make a one which is far too thick. So this is the most time consuming uh, part. So I'm kind of keep going until I'm happy-ish with it. And now I'm going to cure it uh, so we can add uh, the second layer. Again, a 30 seconds cure. Basically, I have done um, some of it in here already, uh, so you can see it, uh, what the next step is going to look like. And for the shiny parts, we will be using the Aurora powder, so I'm going to put a tiny bit of it on the side to save the time. I love the Aurora powder. I think it looks amazing for anything, uh, any kind of design. So my first layer is cure. I can go into my brush, clean it first, and then do a second layer. And with the second layer, you will be able to see that it looks much nicer. Again, if you would go for a slightly bigger brush, you could probably get a job done a bit quicker. I almost um, don't touch the uh, gel polish. Like, there's lots of quick strokes, but a very little pressure. If you do uh, give it too much pressure, you are not going to get a nice results. So that's my ombre finished, and you can see how nice uh, it looks with the second layer. So like with everything, uh, the more time we spend on it, the better looks we get. I can clean my brush in the meantime. And then we are going to use the no wipe top coat and we are going to use some sparkles and Aurora powder. 
For the sparkle part, I'm going to use the Upvoted 175 Disco Dolly. And it's a really nice and glittery one. Uh, I, I really like that, those extra, extra sparkle. So I just put a tiny bit on the side, but I also show you another one which I love. And where are you? Where are you? No, that's not this one. I think it's this one. It's a pearly one. It looks like a million diamonds in a bottle. Absolutely stunning. And it's a color number 169. I think I will be using quite a lot of it uh, for the nails I do. This one is cooked. I can remove it. Yeah, nicely cooked. Now we've got two options uh, to do the Aurora powder only on the ombre part. The first option is to apply the top coat on the entire surface of the nail, then buff it and reapply it on the surface we want to uh, apply the Aurora powder and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just applying a top coat. I think those extra buff doesn't take too long and uh, you get a nicer results as well. So I'm applying the top coat, full cure. Uh, on this one we can do a shell design as well and we will be working exactly the same way so yellow one on the top you can also with the yellow color indicate a little bit of your shape of the shell design so it has like a it looks like an we triangle ish which want to close but we don't want to close completely with the rounded top that's the shape you want for your shell and then on the bottom we are needing a darker color so i'm straight away putting the darker color i think i can squeeze one more and here into this direction so this is the bottom of the shell and then two lines to make it open and round it top. So they are like a few flying shells. The yellow one goes on the top and then we're going into the orange. I even didn't clean my brush because I want those uh, tiny bit of the yellow to be coming through. It's just quicker for fading then. Exactly the same movements like we did it on the first tip. And the first layer i'm not bothered too much about it just remember the most important part of it is to don't go too thick because if you go too thick you are going to create some wrinkles and the design is going to come off because that's a gel polish we're working with it is not a gel it's a gel polish and the gel polish cannot be applied too thick so touch up on the shape then the darker one here so the first one is really just to kind of indicate where we're going i have made it a little bit too slim just adding a tiny bit more on the side and now I can cure it. The other one is cooked which is fantastic. So we have applied the top coat on it and now I can buff it. Just keep away your uh, open products uh, from the dust because you don't want the dust to land in your products. Remove the dust. Now the job, uh, the Aurora powder might stick in into the um, 
kind of not too sticky surface, if that makes sense. So I have cleaned it with the blue scrub to make sure uh, it is not going to stick in the places I don't want. I put a tiny bit of my dry top coat on the side uh, in case if I will need to use a small brush to perfect the shape. But I think I can get away with it. So I'm just applying the dry top coat only on the part where we have painted the ombre design. Because that's the part I want to be covered with the Aurora pigment. And then once I'm happy with it, I can cure it. For the pigments, the best uh, is a 60 second cure for me. Because uh, this way I get a really nice um, uh, adhesion of the pigment to the top coat. And now I can perfect the ombre look on this design. So nice and nicely faded ombre look. With the second layer, I'm not going to rush as much as I did with the first one because I want to get a bit of decent look. So I'm just taking my time hardly touching the surface of the gel polish because this way you get a much nicer blending. And the darkest color. I can also at this stage concentrate a little bit about perfecting the shape. As you can see, I'm missing a little bit. It's a bit misshaped shell, so I need to just correct that shape. So more straight and straight, going higher to the top in here. That's it. That's a better shape. Do exactly the same on the other one. Tiny bit of orange. It would be much easier to ombre this way, um, like down the way, rather than the sidewise, uh, but I think it's just more interesting because the other lines we are going to add are going to, yeah, I'm rubbish with the sides, are going to go this way. <laughs> So just perfecting it. I think that's a pretty cute design for a summer which doesn't exist in Scotland. And now I can cure it. So 30 seconds cure and the one for Aurora is ready. So I have cured 60 seconds. Dab it in with my finger into the pigment and I'm just rubbing it in. Rub, rub, rub. And then once you're happy with it, you can remove the excess of the powder with your brush. See, I've got a tiny bit of the pigment which has transferred probably from my finger on this part. I can easily wipe it off because there is no product, it's just a buffed surface, so I can just remove the excess of it with the wipe. And if you want to be very precise, I find it that's the uh, micro brushes from the eyelash extensions. They are fantastic for cleaning up all the uh, mistakes we have done on the nails. So I'm just uh, cleaning it up. And now I can create this part. So we're going to add those uh, 3D look. And for that, uh, I have used this glitter. So the first line is going to be um, the strongest one. Pretty nice and thick at the top. And then the closer to the tip, we are going to work smaller and thinner. So nice and thick and then smaller and thinner. Nice and thick, smaller and thinner. 
depending on your temperatures and the country you live in, um, you can do maybe one or two lines because the temperatures doesn't allow you to do any more or you can do all of them if you're living in a freezing Scotland. Thought the room is really warm, um, like really, really warm because I've got all the lamps set up above my head. But I will do all of them. And again, because it is a gel polish, I cannot go too thick in a one layer. So I'm just going to uh, cure it and then add a tiny bit more glitter into that. With the shells, we have to work with the small brush to apply the top coat. So I'm just applying the top coat on the entire shell. So nice and other one, just exactly the same entire shell. Try to make a same thickness just so it doesn't go too bumpy. Mm, again, the more time you spend, the better. And a 60 seconds cure exactly to wrap in the pigment. But this one is flash cure and I can apply a tiny bit more of the glitter. So again, on the top we can go much higher. And then really nice and thin. when we're getting to the end. Okay, I can cure this one again. And then start preparing some gems and crystals. So I thought the kind of pearly theme and also uh, all sorts of different shells will look really nice. So I'll just grab some of them out. Now the one for the Aurora, the shell one is ready. So just the same, I'm just rubbing the pigment in. And then I can remove the excess of it. So you can see I have buffed the tip properly here and I have missed the top. That's why the pigment transferred a little bit more on the top. So I'm using a tiny bit of the Neil Dehydrator and the Blue Scrap. Actually, I show you. So that's the Blue Scrap Neil Dehydrator, which I'm using um, to prep the Neil plate, but also to kind of clean up any mistakes. And the shells are done. So I can apply those uh, beautiful glitter on it as well. Exactly the same kind of idea like we did it on the previous one but with those line you want to be more precise because the design itself is much smaller so I might do maybe just couple and then cure it especially the ones which are going outside I want them to be very nice and precise so I'm going to it now. This one is cooked as well and we can start adding an extra glitters if we need to and then decorate it with the stone. So the second layer is just really to perfect some bits and pieces. You could also do that with the builder gel. Um, I quite like working with the gel polishes in a top coat because you don't want to go also too heavy. And uh, if we use sometimes the builder gel, same for those kind of unicorn horn looks. Uh, if we go for um, too thick in the consistency products, uh, then you get a pretty, uh, pretty heavy look. And I really don't like that. So keep doing the same on this one. 
so nice blob on the beginning and then just straight line i just adding a tiny bit more of this glitter where are you so tiny bit more and i can apply it in I think it's a pretty nice blingy design. Let me know what you think about it as well. And you can also write in the um, comments down below what uh, kind of questions you've got to me, what kind of stuff you would like to see on my channel. Also, what you think about the vlogs parts and, and other kind of videos not as much related to the news because I don't want to keep you boring, but I do really... Um, I do really get hooked into it like you know I, I do really enjoy this time spent with you together guys and uh, it gives me lots of pleasure and a satisfaction to to have such as wonderful supporters I'm going to add a tiny bit those sparkle down the bottom as well Yeah, cool. I can cure this one. And we can move on into the decoration part. So you can you can do it in a um, couple different ways. Uh, you could use the glue to stick the things on. And that's what we will do with this one. And then we will use the top coat with the other one. If I'm using the glue, the crystals are staying fantastic on me. And uh, I do really highly recommend this technique. So you kind of like use the glue and then go with the top coat around it. So I've got this beautiful shell, which I'm going to apply in here. And then just a couple crystals around the design. So I'm just drawing a line with the glue. And then take some Swarovski crystals. I've got the pull back in here. So, and then just stick them in. And I think those extra blinks make a huge difference to this design. And one, I should squeeze it one more, but I need to add a tiny the drop more of the glue. Yeah, and that's that's the design finish I need to just apply the top coat on it and then cure it so let's do that always wait for the glue to dry out a little bit and because we have created those 3d kind of look you want to go around it you don't want to apply too much top coat because uh, that will kind of smooth out those 3d look If you use the top coat to create those 3D look as well, that looks pretty nice too on top of the color. Well, let's go nice rounded just to get those shine back in. And then we can cure it. So that's this design finish. I will cure it for a 60 seconds now. The other one, I just check it was flash cure. Let me check. Do we need to add? Yes, I just add a tiny bit more sparkle into that. So just a tiny bit more to get it, it a little bit more defined. Flash cure it. And then we can stick a couple gems into that as well. I love my gems. So this one is fully cured. You can have a look at that again. I show you from the different angles because it has those 3D kind of look into it. And it can go into the collection as well. Uh, you've got other examples here just to keep you inspired so you can. Think of the different ideas. Another um, way of applying the gems, um, but then um, 
maybe more into the kind of display tips. I wouldn't apply it on the uh, client or on myself because I do not trust this technique as much as I do uh, trust the previous one. So we are using a top coat as a uh, crystal adhesive. So just a tiny bit of top coat and then stick in a couple of the crystals. And here I'm going to use a bit larger and no, actually I'm going to use some shells as well. So, eh, yeah, that's cute. Yeah, that's just that fill up the design. And then a couple of the crystals. Just so everything goes with the film. My daughter is also playing some guitar. I'm not sure can you hear it or not. Uh, she's just sit outside waiting uh, to be picked up and go to the boyfriend for the weekend. Uh, but I can hear her playing. No, I don't like them in here. I'm going to move them right to the top. One here is okay. Yeah, that looks much prettier on the top. So that's the next design finished and I have secured the crystals and the other decorations with the top coat. Now I can cure it and I show you another another trick or what else you could do. Because uh, sometimes when we apply the top coat the design goes a little bit too flat and so then you could just put a tiny bit of the top coat on the side <coughs> and once it's cured the, the top coat to protect the design you could go with a tiny bit more of it and just uh, gives those extra 3D look into the lines you have created before. Just a bit more definition. And also the, the clear gel works like a magnifying glass so it enlarges everything as well which is underneath. So just a bit more definition. And now I can cure it again. Once it will cure, I can show you that. But if you guys enjoy this video, you can share it as well. Because uh, uh, that kind of views keeps me motivated as well um, for producing another videos. And then um, if you've got any ideas, any questions, uh, just write them in the comments uh, below. I have also started using the community quite a lot. So I'm posting the pictures in there too. And uh, yeah. That's the design cured. I can show you that. A finished look in different angles. So another one going on the side and you can have a look at all of them. So don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to my channel just to keep me a bit more motivated. And thanks for watching this 12th episode. See you next week.